Dallas Cowboys coach Mike McCarthy lost his composure after his team playoff loss to the 49ers in the divisional round Sunday night when he was seen stiff arming a cameraman. The incident happened just seconds after the Dallas vs. San Francisco 49ers playoff game had ended when photojournalist Noah Bullard was attempting to get a shot of the 59-year-old leaving the field. In Bullard's video, you can see McCarthy clearly didn't want to be filmed and put his hand on the camera to get away from him. A photo of the incident seemed to show Mike McCarthy used some force when touching the lens too. But Bullard insisted on social media on Monday that it wasn't that bad, writing in a tweet, I can see how the photo appeared like he pushed me, but it was more of a hand to the lens. Bullard said he and Mike McCarthy ended up talking things over following the incident and said the Cowboys head coach ultimately told him he was sorry for doing the chat. It wasn't a good look for the Dallas coach after his team's 19-12 loss to the San Francisco 49ers, the same team that eliminated them in the same round last season. Following Dallas' loss to the 49ers, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones assured that Mike McCarthy's job remains safe as the team's head coach. As for Mike McCarthy, he's 30-20 in the regular season as coach since taking over the job prior to the 2020 season. Sunday's playoff loss to the 49ers move him to 1-2 overall in the postseason with Dallas. So moving on, Michael Parsons had a few choice words for 49ers star receiver Debo Samuel on Sunday night after the Cowboys were eliminated from the postseason in a 19-12 divisional round loss in Santa Clara. Debo Samuel was quick to gloat about the win on his Instagram page after advancing to the NFC Championship game mocking Michael Parsons for saying this is who I wanted prior to the matchup. Debo Samuel's post included a text graphic of Parsons quote alongside the caption don't poke the bird which did not sit well with the all pro defensive star. LOL what did you do today fam? Parsons said in the comment section. For your information Debo Samuel's finished the game with four catches for 45 yards adding four rushing attempts for 11 more yards on the ground. Michael Parsons clearly thinks Debo Samuel's had no business bragging about the win with those kind of numbers telling the whiteout to keep him out of his victory celebration. But congrats on the win, Parsons added, but don't put me in this weak-ass slide. So moving on, following Dallas' loss to the 49ers, Skip Bayley's was so fed up with Dak Prescott, he tossed his jersey in the trash. Just watch the video. Skip Bayless was fed up, but the video was even funnier than anticipated. You can clearly see the media panda in the frame behind the entrance to the kitchen before it began rolling. Bro thought he was fooling somebody. The bizarre game ending sequence by the Dallas Cowboys ignited a wave of reaction on Twitter as the NFL world weighed in on a questionable play call by the Cowboys coach Mike McCarthy and offensive coordinator Kellen Moore. Someone tweeted, that being the Cowboys last play is the most Cowboys play ever. I agree. Someone also tweeted, that last play by the Cowboys was probably one that looked really cool in practice, but had absolutely no shot of working in an actual game. To be honest, I didn't know what they was thinking myself. Steve Smith Sr., we the Panthers interviewed Kellen Moore for the head coaching job. Based on the last play for the Cowboys, ain't no way in hell Moore is coaching us with that trash last play. <laughs> Someone also tweeted, poor Zeke Elliott getting knocked on his back because he was playing center. I'm still laughing at this last play by the Dallas Cowboys. I need an explanation. I don't think you're going to get one, buddy. Another person also tweeted, I'm still trying to understand that last Cowboys play. Put Zeke at center so that he can leave out his O-line fantasy. Skip Bailey's tweeted, no. Another person also tweeted, that was the funniest play of all time. And I agree. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. In the aftermath of a heartbreaking loss to the 49ers, Things went from bad to worse for the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas running back Tony Pollard suffered a fractured left fibula in the loss and will undergo surgery. This type of injury typically requires a three-month recovery. Tony Pollard was held to just 22 yards on six carries due to his injury and left the game with 124 left in the first half. The Cowboys struggled to run the ball in his absence, finishing the game with 76 yards rushing, their fourth lowest total of the season. The 2022 season saw Pollard selected for the Pro Bowl after the best season of his career as he ran for 1,007 yards and 9 touchdowns. He also tied a career high with 39 receptions 
adding three receiving touchdowns for a 12-5 team. Since Dallas took him in the fourth round of the 2019 draft out of Memphis, Tony Pollard has been a key piece in the Dallas Cowboys offense, often overshadowing fellow running back Ezekiel Elliott. His 2,616 rushing yards ranked 13th in team history. The Dallas Cowboys is interested in franchise tagging Pollard, who is due to become a free agent after this season.